A notice to remove all personal property isn't deterring those who've set up camp on Nesbitt Avenue near Aurora Avenue. I got a couple things right now I want to donate. Amari Stone comes here to help those in need. He doesn't agree with how the city handles encampments. They come and come and take what they do, the little that they do have, and um, um, don't offer them nothing. This encampment was cleaned up two weeks ago after months of complaints. I seen them come through, you know, they evict everybody. But Amari says he knew it wouldn't last long. They hand out cards, they don't follow up with them. You know, it's just, it's just ridiculous, man, how they treat people. You know, they, all they're doing is they just shuffle people from one place to another. Amari tells me he'd like to see a more focused approach with resources that could keep someone off the streets. So then it goes in full circle. You know, because there is some people that will help to help themselves. You know, I did it. I was homeless. In other parts of the city, a slow, deliberate, personal approach to getting people in housing seems to be working. That is one of the best avenues that we have as we're healing with people is to really understand them. We talked to Nicole Alexander with Purpose Dignity Action at an encampment in South Seattle on Monday where people have been given months notice and help to find housing. There's been so much more around people coming in and telling them you have to leave in three days or you're just going to lose everything. That's not the approach they've taken at this encampment. 30 people so far have been placed in housing. They also receive supportive services afterward. When folks come inside, we start to work on stabilization with folks. So a lot of that is around uh, mental health, physical health and legal. Nicole says that's the proven way to keep people off the streets. It's the type of treatment Amari would like to see those living here on Nesbitt Avenue receive. He's a friend of mine right there, you know. He want to get off the streets, man. We don't want to be on the streets. Cornelius Hawker reporting there. A city spokesperson says it's standard policy to give people living in unauthorized encampments 48 to 72 hours notice to vacate. New tonight.